Hello, and welcome to Basic Computer Help. Today we're going to be programming a Hello World program in Visual Basic.net. Now I'm going to be using Visual Studio 2008 Professional Edition, but if you do not have this or access to it, you can download Microsoft's Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition for free. All you have to do is register it, and they'll send you a, a uh, product key and it's good for an infinite amount of time you can even register it as many times as you like and if you do not want to use Microsoft's you can go with IC sharp code uh, they have a program called sharp develop that can do visual basic dot net okay now let's get into the program in visual studio you go to create project or you can go to file new and then project if you are in visual basic express it might just say new project Whoops. click on that we go to cons console application and give it a name I'm gonna name this VB hello world click OK. That can take a while to generate. After it's done generating, you get um, a file that looks like this. With a solution with only two files, module1.vb and my project. Um, unlike in C Sharp, main does not get put in a uh, program.vb it gets put in module1.vb that's because if you do a forms application which is a window where you actually get a user interface you don't actually need to have a main function you can actually have it set up just to load up a project straight out alright now let's start now you notice we don't have any using or imports yeah, in Visual Basic it's imports. We don't need that if we do just stuff from the system namespace, which is all console classes in. So we'll start out by going console dot right line. Give it a, a string hello world. Whoops. And then so it'll stop. We'll go console dot read key now let's build and test this as you see we get hello world hey and that's it now to show you the difference in variables between C sharp and visual basic and I will do this with all the programming languages that I will do is we have to dim it which stands for whoops which stands for dimension I'll call this hello as string equals hello world and we'll just pass that to the function and and there we go hello world now some of the differences between Visual Basic and, Hel and uh, C Sharp is as you see we have a module in C Sharp all you have for uh, elements are uh, classes and structures in Visual Basic you have classes structures and modules a module is nothing but a friend class in C Sharp you can get the exact same thing but with a static class A uh, subroutine is t main. This is called main. A subroutine is just a function that does not return anything. Main can also return an int. So in Visual, in Visual Basic, we have to call this a function as integer. 
return zero. Whoops. In Visual Basic, you do not have any line terminators. But if you want to have a, a, a command or a call go multiple lines, you need to have an underscore put at the end of the line. That should work. Let's test it and make sure it works. Yep, there you go. If you are interested in Visual Basic, I will put a link to a online book it's free in the description also I will put a link to the Express Edition of Visual Basic 2008 and uh, Sharp Develop from IC Sharp Code